today we're going to talk about naming acids. You're going to fill out the package, the little packet of information with me. What makes an acid unique and how are acids named? A variety of acids are used in foods, industry, and research. Acids are covalently bonded molecules, but when they are put into water, they produce ions. One of the ions produced is always hydrogen uh, plus one which is immediately combines with a water molecule to form the hydronium ion. The hydronium ion is what defines the acidic properties of a substance. Because of their special classification, acids have a naming system different from ionic and other molecular compounds. Oh, I keep trying to move things with my mouse that's not connected to this computer. All right, binary acids. Notice we have HCl. The name of the acid is hydrochloric acid. The cation that it produces up here, it talked about we always produce a hydrogen ion that then bonds with the water. That gives us H3O with a plus one charge. Okay, the anion then is the second part chloride. The second <coughs> one is named hydrobromic acid. We have a hydro in the beginning again. The next one is hydrosulfuric and hydrofluoric. Okay. The, anion, the cation for hydrobromic, again, H3O plus. The anion, Br negative. The cation for hydrofluoric, H3O plus, and anion F negative. Hydrogen joins with water molecules to form hydronium ions. Okay, here I am, still using the mouse. Complete the cation and anion columns. We've already done that. What does why does hydrosulfuric acid contain two acids, two hydrogens? Look here. What do we know about chlorine's ionic charge? Chlorine has a negative one. Bromine has a negative one. Fluorine has a negative one. What does sulfur have? Sulfur has a negative two charge. So therefore, it takes two hydrogens to bond with one sulfur. Sulfur. Sulfide. Look at the formula and names of the binary acids in model one. What's the prefix used at the beginning for all the binary names? What is the suffix used? The prefix is hydro, the suffix is ic. The prefix bi means two. Propose a reason that acids in model one are referred to as binary acids. Why are they binary acids, folks? Right over here. It's because they're made of two different elements. write a rule for naming binary acids. Hydro, then the anion, and then you drop the ide and put ic on. All right, the next type of acids, ternary acids or oxy acids. So let's take a look at all of these. How are these acids different from binary acids? Okay, what's different? They all have oxygens. What do you think ter means? Probably oxygen, right? All right, when ternary acids are mixed with water, ions will form. Fill in the table above with the formulas and names of the anions. Okay, so notice, chloric acid. What's our polyatomic ion? ClO3, which is chlorate. Sulfurous acid, what's our polyatomic ion? SO3, which is sulfite. What are we bonding to? Our cation is H3O, the hydrogen, and we have two of them. Sulfuric acid, once again, we're going to have two hydrogens, so two hydronium ions. And sulfuric is SO4, negative two, or sulfate. Phosphorus, the phosphorus acid, H3PO3, it's 
so we'll have three of those hydronium ions. PO3 is phosphite uh, anion. Phosphoric acid, we once again are going to have three hydronium ions and one phosphate. Nitric acid, one hydronium ion and nitrate. Nitrous ion, acid, one hydronium ion and nitrite. Carbonic acid, two hydronium ions and carbonate. All right. Step seven, when ternary acids are mixed with water, ions will form. Fill in the table above with the formulas and name. Well, we said that already, didn't we? Each, examine each of the pairs of ternary acids in model two that contain sulfur, phosphorus, and nitrogen. Each pair has one acid that ends in ic and another that ends in us. These endings are related to the name of the polyatomic ion. All right, so let's find all the icks. Chloric, sulfuric, phosphoric, nitric, carbonic. <coughs> what do they all have in common? Look at their names. Eight. They all end in eight. Okay, so polyatomic anions that end in eight. Acid name ends in ick. Think of it this way. If you eat too much, you'll fe feel icky. So you ate too much, you feel icky. Okay? Ite is what the other ones are. Sulfurous, phosphorus, nitrous, all end, the anions end in ite. So polyatomic ending in ite, the prefix, the suffix is us. So if you ate too much, you'll feel icky. If you ate too much, you'll feel us. Okay? I know. It's lame. Get used to it. If we used hydro, what could this create for, for this um, chloric acid? Okay? Hydrochloric was the name we used for HCl. This, is, if you put hydrochloric in, that could mean either HCl, if we had started chloric acid with hydro, or it could be an HClO3. So we drop the hydro when we name oxy acids. Okay, so the rule for naming oxy acids or ternary acids, we drop the hydro. If it ends in 8, we add ick. If it ends in ite, we feel us because we eat too much. Okay. Predict the formula for chlorous acid. Us means it's going to end in ite. The chlor sounds like chlorite, which, if you remember, was ClO2, negative 1. Circle the acids below that would ha begin with the prefix hydro. Hydro, remember, was on the first page. Those are binary. There's no oxygen in there. So is this guy going to be bi binary? No. Is this guy going to be binary? Yes. Hydrofluoric, hydrosulfic, carbonic, no hydro, and nitrous, no um, hydro. All right, third one. We've got some more. Once again, perchloric. We're going to have one. Um, I'm sorry, the dog is barking. Excuse me for a moment. I'm not sure what the dog's problem is. All right, the hydronium ion. Perchloric acid will will separate into the hydronium ion. And ClO fluor was perchlorate. Chloric, the hydronium ion, ClO3, which is chlorate. Chlorus, a hydronium ion, C, 
ClO2, which is chloride. Hypochlorous acid, hydronium ion ClO, which is hypochloric. Now, what we haven't learned, I don't think we did BRO4, we did IO4. BRO4, as far as we are concerned with um, polyatomic ions, is just like ClO4. We named that guy perchloric, so this guy's name is per bro, and then because it's perchlorate would be, perbromate is his name, we use the ick ending. H3O, BRO4, negative 1. IO3 is going to correspond to chlorate. This is iodate. We did learn this guy. So we'll have one hydronium ion. What do you suppose FO2 is going to be? Fluorine with two oxygens. Well, chlorine is chlorite, so this must be fluorite. So this will be named fluorous acid. And we have the old hydronium ion there and the FO2. And what do you suppose IO is going to be? Well, hypochlorous would be for hypochloric chlorate. This should be ite. Io hypo iodus acid hypoiodite. All halogens form similar oxygens. We've pretty much already talked about that. The table below includes both binary and ternary acids. Include what you've learned in this activity. Fill in the missing formula and name for each acid, giving the formula of the acid. All right, you guys need to do this in your worksheet, okay? This is what you need to bring back on Monday for a grade, okay? Just this part here, okay? Great.